hey hello everyone so today let's see uh, the same demo which we had already seen from a node sender to our base receiver where we were using ESP8266 in our earlier experiment from Raspberry Pi to ESP and then from ESP to ESP and then from ESP to Raspberry Pi again. So this uh, in this case this is our node sender and here is our base station or base receiver. But uh, the, the difference is in this case we are using ESP32 as you are seeing here and receiver is also ESP32. So what's happening here? with this ESP32 is connected to Raspberry Pi 3 or 4 anything you can take and uh, at the uh, node receiver or the base station side again this our ESP is connected to Raspberry Pi 3 or 4 anything you can take but for both coding will be definitely it will be different so here how does it work this uh, this uh, node sender which is connected uh, where ESP32 is connected to Raspberry Pi for all the sensor data is collected by Raspberry Pi and then sent serially to our ESP32 and then this ESP32 makes a communication with this ESP32 this this total connection is Wi-Fi so both uh, need to uh, be under another uh, same uh, Wi-Fi or the same uh, network location and then uh, once the data is received by this ESP32 that sends serially data over Raspberry Pi so this is how our uh, node sender and the uh, node receiver works so let me just show you how it is working over here so this uh, first screen this black screen which you are seeing this is our node sender screen and this is node sender of ESP32 so here it sends some data it is sending for the 446 428 233 and 302 so this is the sensor data which is first read and then sent to ESP32 so this COM11 which you are seeing this is our uh, ESP32 so here you see the 446 so this is the data that earlier we saw 446 428 233 302 so this is the received by ESP32 and then this ESP32 sends that data to our base uh, receiver so here if you will see that it has already received this is data if you will see that received from ESP32 446 428 233 and 302 and then it will send this data to our raspberry pi so if you will see here our base raspberry pi has received the same data 446 428 233 and 302 so this uh, all will happen with some frequency like uh, an interval of 5 second 10 second whatever you have uh, mentioned in your code so this is how we actually implement the node sender and the base receiver so in this case you can have any base sender which uh, will collect sender sensor data you can connect any number of sensor to your uh, node uh, sender and then the same data can be received by our base station so this is how our node sender and uh, node receiver works hope this is clear now thank you so much